I won't gonna... see. All right, there goes, there goes Buddy. And this is really bizarre because uh, the gentleman that I gave the plug to on his com comedy video, all right, he, uh, first off, I want to say he hasn't been paid um, to say this, but, you know, we just start talking about, and I, I watch who I talk to about God now because you can really offend somebody bad, and I know that everything is personal. You have to, you really have to handle that situation with kid gloves because if somebody doesn't believe, you're, you're walking on ice that's thin, uh, that you're going to crash through, and you will drown or burn or however you just want to look at it. There's, it's, it's a very sensitive subject, and it can, very, it can upset people. No matter how happy it makes you, man, you got to put this shit in perspective and, and really think about it. But as I start to talk to this guy, all of a sudden I find out that his dad was somebody that I talked to at this laundromat, and this is what his dad said about me. Okay, um, this guy that you've come to love watching his videos, talked to my father um, about two or three nights ago. And no, it was about a week ago, actually. About a week ago? Yeah, it was a while. Right, well, it was about a week ago, apparently. And um, he helped my dad out quite a bit. And my dad was just telling me today that he talked to this nice man at the laundromat who was also getting a divorce. Uh, my dad's going through a divorce right now. And um, my dad had the sneaking suspicion that what if, you know, he asked me, what are the chances that God would send an angel down to talk to me into the laundromat and help me out with the divorce he's going through? And I told him it's it's a possibility, you know. Uh, it could be he could have sent an angel, or he could just do someone like a chess piece. And um, because of what this man told my father, my dad is now more open to God. Now I told him keep looking for signs, and he told me he's going to be try to be more open to the Lord. And uh, just hear my dad say that after 19 years of me living with him and him raising me, him actually saying that he's going to be more open to the Lord was a shock. It was a big shock to me to hear him say that because he had always been the kind of guy that I would ask spiritual questions to, and he would say, oh, it's a, it's a bunch of baloney. You know, he's like, it's, if you can't see it, go by what you know to be true. And just hearing him say that, it really was an eye-opener for him and uh, for me to hear him say that. So wow. thank you for... You are? I don't, you know your name? Uh, Robert Scalise. Robert. Yes, thank you for uh, setting my day straight. That is bizarre. And I mean... That's how much I'm learning. And everybody knows I'm a nice guy, and they say I'm going to finish last. Um, I try to look at it like maybe the last will be first. And I'm learning this thing. I'm learning that it's okay to say shit when you talk to somebody. Or some, you know, light, light profanity. You don't have to be so foul that you're like a trucker. But at the same time... Uh, this is a new age. This is a new time. To introduce people to God, you have to kind of talk in these terms, like today, you know, like the way people would understand it now so that they can get closer to them. Uh, back in the day, hey, we'd go and grab a couple, uh, you know, unspotted lambs and we'd throw them on the altar and light them on fire and stuff like that. It's a different world now. It's a different world and we have to approach it differently. And just having this guy say this to me just makes me feel like maybe I'm doing the right thing. But... I'm going to get off of here, and uh, I'm going to actually go to a bar and try and shoot some pool, and I'm probably going to have my ass handed to me again like I did last night because it was just, uh, I'm telling you, I might as well have a blindfold on. I I, I was beaten worse than... Uh, Jesus on the cross? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I, nothing will compare to that. I uh, That's something I, I can't even imagine, the nicest guy in the world. And uh, But you know what? No matter how much anybody beats you, don't ever stop being nice. Because, uh, you know what, you'll run into Roberts and other people, his dad Lou, and uh, they'll let you know that you're doing the right thing. This is a tough town, and but tonight I get to smile. Christmas Ante, CFMG.